Good morning and welcome to the channel. I've got me silly uh, hiking uh, get up on uh, as I'm going for a day hike. I am uh, heading down to Pendine Lighthouse where I hopefully will get a picture. The last time I was there they, uh, it was covered in scaffolding. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's, it's going to be in the low mid 20s. Um, there's uh, not a cloud in the sky which is not great for the photography but uh, not much we can do about it but uh, I'm really pleased to be out getting ready for a, a nice hike along the uh, southwest coast path. Where we are, we're on the southwest coast path. We're about 10 miles from St. Ives uh, on the north coast. And then we're gonna walk from here down to Cape Cornwall and um, beyond that to um, Porth Nanvan where they have some uh, a beach which is full of large um, boulders which are all very smooth and perfect for, for some long exposure. So um, I'm gonna have a bit of a wander around here, see if I can find a com uh, composition. So I've, I've found a composition, I've come quite low down to the ground. There's some, some heather out, um, so um, some purples uh, in there. There is a, one wispy white cloud, which meant that uh, adding the uh, polarizer just really brings that out uh, a little bit against the blue skies. Uh, shooting at uh, ISO 160, F9 and uh, 1 200th of a second. I've got the, the legs splayed out because we're shooting on really sort of soft, spongy grasses and heathers and stuff like that. So to try and get a really solid base, I've, uh, I've splayed out the legs. I'm also um, using a 10 second timer rather than a, my normal two second timer to really let this very lightweight tripod uh, settle. It's a KF, um, KFC, it's a KNF concept uh, ultralight tripod, which is just about a kilogram I think it's actually less than a kilogram and so when you're hiking um, it makes a, a big difference to have an ultralight uh, tripod and that's the one I've picked today <laughs> So I've just come around the corner from the lighthouse, literally 50 or 100 yards, and there's this fantastic um, coastline that I'm trying to capture. What I really like is this, uh, this, this cove in here and the, um, uh, the rocks in the headland here, which I'm standing on, just sort of echoing uh, that. And then you've got this lovely uh, sweep of this little headland and then fading away to uh, rocks sticking out into the sea. I've just seen a seal down in this little bay as well, so fantastic. So again I'm shooting at uh, 160 ISO uh, at f8 this time, uh, which is giving me a um, shutter speed of about 160th. I've still got the uh, um, polarizer on and uh, here uh, I'm a little bit more comfortable with a, a two second timer um, focused on the, uh, um, the, the cliff edge.
Oh. So I found a bit of shade. Um, <laughs> there's no clouds in the sky today, so there's not much uh, relief from the, the sun and it's sort of mid twenties. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, I've had a, a lovely morning. I've taken a few photographs. I think one or two of them will come out. Uh, I'm going to have my lunch and uh, brought my own lunch. Well, that's great because the more I eat, the uh, less I have to carry. I'm uh, at the uh, Crown Mines Botalic and uh, going to go down in a minute after I've had some lunch and uh, hopefully find uh, something to, uh, to shoot. So this is the third or fourth time I've been to the Botalic Mines, uh, the Crown Mines at Botalic. Uh, as you can see today, it's absolutely a mill pond. Uh, other days I've had lots of mist and sort of moody weather uh, and sort of crashing waves and sort of lots of activity. Today nothing much is going on. With the weather conditions as they are, bright blue sky, uh, very little of wind so not very little wave action happening. Um, <clears throat> and a lot, it's the middle of the day so um, you know the light is quite harsh. Uh, I'm struggling to find something that is going to be pleasing. Um, so I thought what I would do is try and do something a little bit different and what we've got here uh, on the coast at the moment uh, is thrift, sea thrift or pinks. Uh, these aren't pinks, I'm not sure quite what they are. So I thought I'd open up the uh, aperture um, and get a shallow depth of field focusing on the, um, uh, the little flowers here and um, try and get a slightly different take on the crown mines at Botalic. So here I am at Cape Cornwall. Um, I've clumbed down a, uh, a cliff, maybe 30, 40 feet, uh, down to this little pinnacle here, uh, which then drops away. There's another headland there and then the cape uh, behind it. Here, um, there's no way to stand my tripod, so I'm hand shooting. Luckily, it's very bright and uh, I've got shutter speeds sufficient to, to work for, for what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to get is there's some, some little flowers down here on the rock and I'm going to use that as a anchor point for the foreground and then you've got layers of this uh, two crags before you get the, the sea and then the cape behind it. If it comes out, I'll show you in a minute. All right, let's see if we can get this. Hang on. I think, I think that's it. I'm going to come away from where it's fairly precarious. So from Cape Cornwall I walked down to Porth Nanvan which is on the edge of the Cot Valley. It's about a mile from um, Cape Cornwall and it's an absolutely beautiful uh, walk down into this beach which is covered with these incredible boulders and um, smooth rocks. And it was at this point the um, uh, Osmo Pocket ran out of battery so I have no more footage. Um, but I set up and took some long exposures and I hope you enjoyed them.
I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, uh, maybe consider subscribing. So thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.